Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. We are back with our Pro Tools tutorial videos and today we're going to keep working on our Pro Tools edit tools. Today's edit tool is going to be the pencil tool. Pencil tool right at the end of the list. Um, you can identify it because it looks like a pencil, the little icon there. You click on it and you're in your pencil tool. Now, the pencil tool is a complex edit tool that lets you draw several types of audio data, such as uh, audio waveforms, you can draw MIDI data, you can draw tempo changes, and automation. So let's go ahead and dive into how to write audio waveforms. Well, think about it this way. Um, every time you record um, a piece of audio, you're drawing a waveform, right? Um, now, if there's any kind of mistake there, um, like clicks and pops, or maybe some kind of like discontinuity going on. You can edit that, you know, you can delete it and cross fade and move things around and things like that. But when that doesn't work, you're gonna have to redraw the waveform on that spot. So for example, if you, you know, if you're listening to your tracks and there's something you don't like at some point, you can just zoom in like here you see that there's some there's a weird spot here. Uh, you can zoom in, and when you get to the samples level right there, you can use the pencil tool to actually draw the waveform again. For example, you can just click and drag, and you'll be drawing right the waveform again. Now, in this case, I'm just drawing something random, but typically you would use it to fix discontinuities and things like that. Uh, now, keep in mind, the pencil tool only works as far as audio waveforms when you are, you're zoomed in to the sample level. If I zoom out one more level, I can't do anything. As you can see, the, the cursor, it went all white. It's, a, it's still a pencil, but it's all white. Now, when you zoom into the samples level, the pencil is actually colored, meaning that it's working now. Okay, so that's the pencil tool as far as drawing audio waveforms. Now you can also draw uh, MIDI data. So let's go ahead and create a new, I'm gonna create a new stereo instrument track. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and assign uh, the, an instrument to that. Let's do the mini grand. Okay. Uh, that, the mini grand is just the stock uh, Pro Tools piano. And if we show our MIDI editor um, and we have our pencil tool on we can literally just click and would be creating MIDI notes we can actually click and drag too and if you press play we're gonna solo it so you can draw MIDI data as I said now um, you can also use the pencil tool to create tempo changes so if you have here your tempo ruler and you open it by clicking there, expand, right? You make it bigger. You can get your pencil, right? And just click and drag. And guess what? We just created a tempo change there. Look at that. You make it really obvious. So ten tempo goes up and then it goes down, 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 and then suddenly goes up again. So if we have a click track, let's just go ahead and create a click track. It's gonna be pretty obvious. If we have a click track um, here and we press play from here. It's getting slower, getting slower, slower, and at some point, super fast. So that's a tempo change. And the last thing you can do is actually write automation. Let's go ahead and write volume automation on these guitars. If we switch from waveform view to volume view, make this bigger, you can once again select that pencil and simply click and drag to write automation. So now the level of the guitars is gonna change. It's gonna be really obvious when I press play. Here we go. So, 
that's it. The pencil tool. Once again, you can write audio waveforms, you can write MIDI data, you can write tempo changes, and you can write automation just by using the pencil tool. Uh, now, keep in mind, we've been using the pencil tool in freehand mode. You have all these other modes. You can just uh, select them by going right click on top of that pencil tool. And then you can select either freehand, which is the one that we use, or you can use a straight line, triangle, square, random, parabolic, or the S curve. Um, most likely, you're going to be using the, the freehand mode, but you have those others if needed. So that was the pencil tool in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we'll be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon. Bye bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.